friends, today we are going to take you on a safari. Yes, because we are traveling to South Africa. So, are you excited to join me on this journey? Then why wait? Let's go. But first, we need to know a few facts about South Africa. Now, where exactly is South Africa? South Africa is the southernmost country in the African continent. It has the Indian Ocean on one side and the Atlantic Ocean on the other. Did you know it is also called a rainbow nation? But why is it so? South Africa has many different colored people with different languages and culture, living together with unity. And that's why it's called a rainbow nation. Capital of South Africa Usually we have one capital, but strangely South Africa has three capitals. Cape Town, which is a legislative capital, Pretoria, which is the executive capital, and Bloemfontein, which is the judicial capital. What is South African currency? Currency is the official money we use. Like we have Indian rupees, they have South African rand. How does South African flag look like? So as you can see, they have green, blue, red, black and gold colors in their flag. Official language South Africa has many as 11 official languages. English, Afrikaans and Zulu being the most popular ones. Which is South Africa's national animal? Springbok, which is also the rugby team's name. Let's talk about their sports now. South African sports team. Rugby is their national sport and their team is called Springboks. Their cricket team is called as Proteas and football team is known as Bafana Bafana. Did you know South Africa is the only African country to host the FIFA Football World Cup ever? South Africa is the biggest producer of gold has the largest port in Africa, generates two-thirds of Africa's electricity. Let's look at South Africa's history now. South African history has been dominated by apartheid. What is apartheid? Apartheid was a system for keeping white people and non-whites separated in South Africa. The word apartheid means apartness in Afrikaans, a language spoken in South Africa. The population of the country is mostly non-white, but for almost 50 years, the white people of South Africa controlled the country. Who helped them fight apartheid? Nelson Mandela spent his life fighting against the apartheid and even went to jail for 18 years in Robben Island. When he was finally released and after a lot of struggle, South Africa was free from apartheid in 1994. He became the first non-white president of South Africa. He is known as the father of South Africa, just like Mahatma Gandhi in India for his contribution. What is South Africa best known for? Let's see. The Big Five South African national parks are widely known for the Big Five. Big Five are these animals. The majestic African lion, leopard, wild buffalo, African elephant and rhino all at one place. Diamonds and gold mines. South Deep Gold Mine is the largest gold mine in the world. By reserves, the first diamond, the Eureka Diamond was found near Hopetown on the Orange River by a 15-year-old boy named Erasmus Stephanus Jacobs in 1867. National Parks South Africa has 20 national parks, Kruger being the biggest of all. Some of the other most popular ones are Addo Elephant National Park, Billingsburg National Park, Kalagadi Transfrontier Park, Mountain Zebra National Park, Table Mountain National Park. Majestic Mountains Table Mountain in Cape Town and Regensburg are world famous mountains. Beaches 
the country has ocean on its two ends so plenty of time to have a nice relaxing time let's know about some of the exciting places in south africa cape town cape town is a capital city between rugged range of mountains and the sea table mountain is the landmark attraction here Beautiful Boulders Penguin Beach is just outside Cape Town where you can get to know the most famous and arguably cutest birds the African penguins Cape of Good Hope is at the southernmost tip of Africa this is point where Indian Ocean meets the Atlantic Ocean north of Cape Town you can visit the Robin Island Nelson Mandela spent 18 years in prison in a tiny cell here only The best part about this experience is that ex-prisoners are usually the guides. Johannesburg. Johannesburg, also known as Joburg, is the largest city in South Africa by population. Named the city of gold for its rich deposits of gold. One must visit the Apartheid Museum, Mandela House, and Gold Leaf City here. This city is also the gateway to the world famous Kruger National Park which is about 6 hours drive from here and home to the Big 5. If you are short of time you can still see the Big 5 in nearby Pilsenburg National Park which is just 2 hours from the city and also enjoy the Sun City on the way which is a theme park filled with lots of adventures rides and water park Mossel Bay Here you can climb into a thick iron cage, plunge into the ocean and come face to face with the great white shark adventure. An hour drive from here you can visit the Oud Shoon ostrich farm, a farm of largest living birds in the world, ostrich. Durban. Besides the beautiful beaches, top attractions in Durban include Yushaka Marine World, a wonderland of sea themed attractions. Also visit the famous Moses Mabeda Stadium and Mini Town, a tiny replica of Durban with a miniature rail network, airport and a harbour scene. So friends, I am sure now that you also know about South Africa as much as I do. So what are you waiting for? Go on and pack your bags because I am already packing. See you later my little friends with another exciting destination and until then keep exploring.